how do you set up an RSS feed with make.com? Now, basically, if you're tired of manually handling repetitive tasks and wish you could automate workflows without writing a single line of code, well, today we're diving into make.com. It is a powerful automation platform that promises to streamline your business and personal tasks with ease. Now, before we get started, all of the mentioned tools will be on the description box below, so make sure to check it out. Now, Make.com, formerly known as an Intogromat, is a visual automation platform that allows users to make or connect different apps and services to create workflows, also known as scenarios. Unlike traditional coding-based automation, Make.com uses a drag-and-drop interface making it beginner-friendly but also powerful enough for advanced users. Whether you're automating email notification, syncing data between different tools, or managing complex business processes, Make.com provides a flexible way to make things happen without manual effort. So right now, we are inside our Make.com account right here. And once you have logged in into your account, you will go ahead and see your own organization, your team, your scenarios, which is going to be your automation process right here. You have your template, connection, webhooks, keys, devices, and basically more. Now, let's just go ahead and say that I want to go ahead and transfer some of the automations right here to some of my clients or to my organization. Now, I'm inside the templates for make.com and I'll just go ahead and choose a random automation process right here. Now, since our focus is with the RSS application, you can just go ahead and search RSS on the search bar right here. So you can just go ahead and click on your application. And right after, it will narrow the search to the RSS application right here. So let's just go ahead and say that you want to go ahead and connect RSS feed with your Facebook page. They have something like post new RSS feed items containing a specific word to a Facebook page. So you have a lot of templates that here that you can go ahead and use. You also have something like the send telegram messages for new articles from RSS feeds. Or if you want to narrow it even further, you can go ahead and follow up with the second application. So let's just go ahead and say that I want to integrate my RSS feed to something like Google Sheets. So I'll just go ahead and search Google Sheet right here. And right after, it will go ahead and take us to another results where we can see RSS feed alongside with Google Sheets. So you have something like add new RSS article to Google Sheets as row, trigger new articles from RSS feed and add them to Google Sheets and more. Now, if you want to go ahead and use some of these templates, you simply want to click on it, click on start guided setup. And below that, you also have something like create new scenario from template. In our case, let's just go ahead and skip this to go ahead and take us to the dashboard where we can edit out the template. Now from here, we can now go ahead and customize this the way you want to. So you can click on the RSS feed right here. You have something like your URL, maximum number of returned items and more. For Google Sheets, you have another one. And so if you want to add another module, you simply want to click on the plus icon. But of course, if you want to start from scratch, you can also do that. You want to navigate through your dashboard or organization. From here, you can then go ahead and see the button for creating a new scenario. So you simply want to click on this button and it will take you to a blank sheet on where we can start creating our own scenario. Now from here, you simply want to go ahead and search on your application. In our case, it's going to be RSS, but you can also go ahead and start on something like Google Sheets, OpenAI, and more. Right after that, you have specific functions like watch RSS feed items, trigger when a new RSS feed item is posted, or you have something like actions that retrieve RSS feed items. In our case, we are going to click this function right here. And right after that, you want to go ahead and connect your URL. You have your date from day two. And lastly, the maximum number of returned items. Right after customizing or adjusting the properties of your RSS feed items, you simply want to click on the save button. 
And so right after to add another function, click on add another module. And from here, if you want to integrate RSS feeds with something like Google Forms or Facebook pages, you can just go ahead and click on it. And here we have functions that we can go ahead and choose from. For example, list videos, get a video, upload a video, and more. Now to make everything simple, I'll click on list post right here. And of course, right after that, you can then go ahead and connect your Facebook account to make.com. Click on create a connection, click on save, and it will basically open up another URL right here on which we can connect our Facebook account. And right after adjusting your scenario, below that you have your controls. You have the run once button. You can go ahead and use this button right here to test your scenario. Beside that, you have the save button in order to save this whole scenario right here. You have your scenario inputs. You can edit out the input structure right here. Of course, if you want to go ahead and add another module, you can go ahead and do so. So it will go ahead and look something like this from RSS feed to Facebook page to JSON. Now heading over to the next input, you have your scenario setting. You have your own notes right here, your previous version, you have your auto align. And lastly, the most useful in my opinion is going to be this button right here because you can import your own blueprint, export your blueprint and explain flow. Now, beside that you have your flow control, you have your tools, you have the text parser and you have your selected tools or application or API keys right here. You have your RSS feed that you can go ahead and add function to. You have your Facebook page. And lastly, you have JSON. And also, if you want to go ahead and modify this modules right here, all you have to do is to simply go ahead and right click on them. From here, you have your setting, run this module only, add error handles, rename this specific module right here, clone, copy, module, add a note, and lastly, delete a module. And so if you click on the settings right here, you have the settings for this specific module. And also if you scroll down, you can then go ahead and see the entirety of the make.com right here. So basically you can do whatever you want inside make.com. You can add multiple modules right here if you want to connect them all together and basically make your own automated scenario from the get go. And so you want to make sure that you save your scenario right here in order to make sure that you don't lose any progress on your scenario build up on or scenario building. And so if this video has been helpful, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.